Hey ho, I'm professional snowboarder Lucas Huffman, you're at my house. Who are you? I tap you but nobody's there. Unless you say I put the bug in your ear. All the kids are getting poisoned. I just got back from a month long trip. Bags are not unpacked. Chilling out in the living room. This is a painting from my big brother Jake. He lives in San Francisco. He makes lots of cool shit. I like books. This here, Damien Hurst. This one kicks ass. All right, this is my organ. This is a present from my other brother, Jesse. He just found this on the side of the road. Madness. This is a bench that my buddy Geza made. He made this specific for this, for like this little alcove right here. And this is my kitchen. Uh, I haven't cooked anything in here since I can remember, to be honest. In fact, I don't even have any food here. But we got a dishwasher. A good friend of mine, Ann Bagwell, she told me that she's a friend of my mom's. She uh, told me this is her favorite gourd. So she, and then she gave it to me. It represents Wabi Sabi. I have no idea what Wabi Sabi is, actually. So you can peek your head out here, it's um, not optimal barbecuing weather. You gotta trust me, this place is pretty cool to hang out in the summertime. There's Lucky. It's wood out there. Lucky! Meow meow. Lucky just wants to be pet on the head all the time. Alright, this is where all the business goes down. We got cables for days. This is where we have the whole editing suite all set up for a IR-77. But uh, we sold all that, and um, I got this really cool sewing machine now, though. Dude, if you're gonna do anything, you need at least, the way I see it, two printers, a scanner, you need two computers, no, three computers, and you need four or five mice. At least one to two hard drives, just to operate. If uh, that's not enough, what I suggest you get a whole box full of pink fabric. And then you got yourself a situation here. This here is an unfinished concept. Get it? Oh yeah, and a stupid calendar that keeps track of all the days. So you write everything you need to do on that day, but it turns out that the numbers of the days are so big you can't fit what you need to do on there. Nine jackets if you're gonna live in Portland because it rains all the time. We're gonna uh, check out the Huffman Enterprise warehouse right now. All right. So the deal here is once all your friends find out you have a basement, they just want to put all their shit in there. Everything your sponsor sends you tends to be a bit too big. And then so it stays there and collects mold. These are all the snowboards I'm emotionally attached to. This is the uh, Sim Shredder. This is the snowboard that I learned how to snowboard on, we'll just say 40 years ago. The guy used to write this Sims logo all over like every notebook in high school. This is the first pro model with uh, Nitro. The Fist. This was from last year's one, like a takeover. The only concept here is just sheer like graphic terror. Uh, Shakedown snowboard. This one is pretty dope. This is with uh, all the sevens and the cab nines and stuff like that. I had a mental breakdown that year and I had to remind myself. That year is pretty confusing. This is the one that uh, they, the Nitro dudes like made this for me. And then this is the one that like I, I toss off that cliff at like the intro to the shakedown thing. Like this, over and over and over and over and over. They also made one for Farmer. I gave they made two of these. I gave one of the other one to Farmer, but I had to keep this one. This is crazy. This is the IR-77 shred board. Two times two equals five. That's this Marxist theory that you can tell anybody anything and they'll believe you. Eight bindings and 
10 boots. That's a good start. All right, we're gonna check out the upstairs. One of the beast suites. All right, here we are. Radical cheese. This is what uh, Vermonters are all about. Radical cheese. This is from Mike Scott. That looks like Ontario or something like that. He just hangs out and paints all the time, man. Mike is awesome. He's a really good friend. I come home, I open up my bag, and it just sits here, and I don't even bother moving it into the closet. Usually three or four days later, I just put the clothes back in it, and I take it back down the stairs and out the door. So I just let my sweater, let, let your v-neck sweater air out. All right, so this is my room. It's a total mess. What you do is you get back, you take all your clothes out of your bag, hopefully, um, the friendly folks at We sent you another box because you just packed this shit up in your other bag. And then you put it back in your bag and then take it out and keep going. This is what uh, inspires me to get up and drive an hour and a half to the hill right here. We got Craig Kelly, 1986, ripping his teeth out. It looks like he's on ecstasy or something like that. He just like needs a mouth guard. More books. Books upon books. This is my contribution to my pile of books. <laughs> like I got, I got so many books. I figured I might as well make one and then just put it in a pile. Um, this is what's been going on for like the last year. It's like putting all this thing together. These are my retirement shoes. These are for uh, post January 1st this year. All right, these are off limits. This is Sean's room. Um, I'm more organized than him apparently though. And this is the upstairs bathroom. This bathroom is kind of funny because uh, there's this little shit window here. So like when you're shitting, the people out on the lawn, they have a perfect angle right up at your hairy butt, just like devouring toilet paper. Dude, what the fuck, man? Dude, have a little respect for my books. I love those things. Get up, beat it, Coop. 